going down to my fencing project i was so busy this morning so it's now one o'clock that i was able to free myself from what i've been doing to check on my fencing project here but i'm expecting them they were here to sort all that's what's needed and we can progress on i had a shocking news all of the plots in my village park paradise has already been reserved or good as been sold or good as been leased now so it's not available for leasing anymore and i might have to look at the one across the one i flat want to flatten out where i got a permit on going that is the six thousand square meter plot then that's the next thing i'm going to develop into leasing and since it's a big plot some areas will be commercial for a cafe loading station payment centers for utility bills water refilling station so that's the next project but as far as the village park paradise is concerned it's all been leased out so there's no more plots available and that's what I'll, what you're going to be seeing me in my channel will be the building of the houses in there and JT will be the one I think will be the first one to build there I don't know yet because he's still um, finalizing his design and you will be seeing me uh, covering the build on a daily basis like you will have been seeing in the budget bungalow so I'm here now on the build I don't know where's my lads oh I see them up there cutting trees but there they are as of the moment I'm just repairing some thing to transfer their I'm going back down to check on my fencing project when I was checking it down a while ago that was just 12 30 in the lunchtime break so that I could see that only the lawyer was there and I had to go back because I had some um, food ordered that the restaurant was in Mandawi City and was delivered here by Lala Move my daughter ordered that so I had to go back and we're fortunate because the gray clouds have disappeared you can see the sunlight going through as you can see on the side so we won't be having muddy uh, muddy days after all because that's why i hate about this we haven't done this thing here is the mud like sometimes you just get stuck in the middle and it's so slippery but once it's both sides will be filed in the proper heights then we can start leveling out the soil and taking out the soil from this side so it's not very high on this side and we will be putting the gravel ASAP to make it ready for the rainy season I could see the Junelle is there filing on the blocks on this side so hopefully it will be all done Ching. Imo ko ng food, oy. That's Janelle's son bringing him food. Dong loy, abiha ko ang luyo sa multika para inig birjo na ko di mo. So this is what they've done. Um, they've been putting ba the rebarks, extending it this morning, and then continue on the pile. Now they will be on this side, continuing all the pile until it reach the same height as this one. So you can see that they have extended the rebars, even the column rebars. Plan
planning to have the same height as this one. So when it's all dried up, we will pour the columns in between and then we will level the floor and put the gravel in. And then before we cement it, all the electric pipes and the drainage will be sorted before we sealed it in properly when we cement the road. So, it's a, a good thing to see the proper height now from here. Then on top of that wall will be the angle bars that we're going to be cutting up with the sharp thing on the top. So, it's more better than an interlink chain that they can just chuck all the, throw all the rubbish in it was it has to be purposely chucked in if you know what i mean that they have to exert effort to chuck it over the angle bars that's going to be continued over here i'm looking at the ecofart uh, village park field now we just managed to burn a little bit this morning but still the roots of it is still green so we haven't burned most of it yet so you can see that in the middle a few has been burned but not completely burned yet because it's still fresh so we will we will be spraying more weed killer on his on this one so we can completely clear the ground. Unsa yung gipangita? Gabon. Murag katul sa gunang gabon good. Usa una murag kita kung daghang gabon gini yo wala. Wala kita. Nangamatay siguro nang klong. They're looking for this medicinal plant that it's really really Namatay to kay sige agkuha. Um, this is called Gabon in our local language, but it's really known to be healing a lot of illnesses. Even the, they're making teas out of it. And it's just very, very, um, the leaves are very, I mean, just really, it's free, you can be itchy. And you need to be careful when you pick it up. It's like, it's classified as a weed. But a lot has been making it into massage oil. And making teas out of it. Because a lot here is believing those herbals instead of medicines, proper tablets and stuff. There's a lot of herbalists, I call it local herbalists here. Or aka quack doctors. And even people from the city come here to have them diagnose um, that you need this kind of plant to help you heal, like heal and all that. So that's one of the things that is common here in the villages is the um, herbal healing. Now, and so I'm quite excited now for my project. This is, um, I have several, I have experienced several build before, but how, building houses, my castle, my guest house, and four more others. And this is one of my, another big project, like my castle, I consider, because yeah. like building a road, <clears throat> this is like the first time I have built a proper road like this and building on a slope because i have used to have a house that 
while driving there I even showed you the house that I sold to an Australian that was a hard build I had to I've shown you the plan on it my building permit plan of what's the design so going back to where my lads are you can see I'm facing the Sun I'll go under the shed to have a better coverage there you can see them properly from here so this side already had uh, seven pile of blocks and this side Junelle is starting this one to rise up to the seventh line so they will both have the same height so we are now 430 432 to be exact and this is what we are we have done 98 blocks for the whole day they're working here although like I said um, we went down with us this morning to do some business with Janelle so 98 blocks and five bags of cement as you can see one more file on this one that that will be the seventh but this one on this side is already seven so that one they managed to have two levels up on this one and one level up on this one and one level up on this one so we're just using all the muck that's been mixed and also another one is the loy has managed to dig two more column here as extension we will be digging out this soil here on the back when we flatten out the road here before we put in the gravel and then on the gravel that's where we have to put the pipes for the electrics and then sort out the drainage because before we finally cement the road but we're gonna be doing it in section one side section so this this width is gonna be divided in two sections left and right and then we're gonna be doing it by sections too so I didn't uh, bury the pipe underneath the footing because I know that we will be putting more sand or earth on this one by digging out this side here and more on this side here as well to level it out better and before we put on the gravel then let it settle down for a while before we finally cement that in six or seven months time but at least like there's no more earth be mixing in if we put in the gravel because both sides have fence now So you can see that it's becoming more defined boundaries on both sides and to today's Thursday so Junelle will be the last day tomorrow for Friday so he's not working on Saturdays and I'll just send Julito and Deloy to pick up materials for next week's work tomorrow Saturday because Aldito's moaning that he wants to work on Saturday because he's bored so and he used to have to work saturdays on the budget bungalow so i said that i think that will be the materials day on saturdays because if janelle's working he needs assistance so it's better that you're all present during the weekdays when janelle is here and then you get all the materials on saturdays